Our big story tonight, ICU beds at Valley Hospitals are filling up. One has already reached its limit and now is having to move patients around just to have enough room. The news from Valley Wise Health is not good. And as Team 12's William Pitts found out, this may not be the worst part of this latest wave. A Valley Wise spokesman said it's really not all that surprising considering where their ICU numbers were last week. But this morning's announcement that its ICU is full shows how bad this pandemic is getting. 100% capacity, no more open beds in intensive care. <laughs> last week, Valley Wise Health warned this was coming. I have one available ICU bed, which means I'm at 98% capacity this morning. Tuesday morning, that time came. A Valley Wise spokesman said the hospital is still accepting ICU patients, though, and putting them wherever they can find room. It's hard to know how bad it's actually going to get, but we do know we're currently seeing record levels of hospitalizations and ICU admissions. Public health experts like Joe Gerald say the peak many thought was coming this week or next may come much later. The number of COVID patients continues to rise, and so do the number of people being hospitalized. Every time a new patient shows up, it creates a, a lot of stress on the system, and trying to find the appropriate place to provide care to that patient is a challenge. Right now, according to the Department of Health Services, there are only 154 ICU beds available in the entire state. That's just 10 shy of July 7th, the worst it's been during the pandemic. And just shy of half of the occupied ICU beds are COVID patients. DHS says Arizona surge line should help with that, shuttling patients to other hospitals to share the load. And Dr. Gerald says just because a hospital is at 100 percent doesn't mean they can't take in more patients. At some point, it could become bad enough where we might see hospitals actually try to expand their physical capacity by opening up uh, a tent in the parking lot, by converting other unused space. Uh, so we're not there yet, and we have some considerable safety room. Valleywise refused to go on camera today, saying instead they'll have an update tomorrow. So did Banner Health, who said they have room for COVID and non-COVID patients, but also said they would not give an updated number until Friday. William Pitts, 12 News. All right, well, thank you.